childhood traumas, and you can't. Your kids are going to have their burdens. And even though I see how it might have hurt you, it's what I knew. Yeah. Welcome. In this video, I'll be discussing how Jaden Smith confronted his mom, Jada Pinkett Smith, on the Red Table Talk by breaking them down into a series of events. The most intriguing one being number one, as it may seem funny, yet come as a shock to you. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying, I've subscribed, and I'll make sure to personally reply to your comments. So, let's dive in. Number seven, the entanglement. In August 2020, one of the most trending issues and celebrity gist going on was what most people called the entanglement. Just in case you don't know what this entanglement means and how it became a viral trending word all of a sudden, I'm going to roll back a little and discuss what happened. Jada Pinkett Smith holds a show called The Red Table Talk, where she has heart-to-heart -heart discussions with different people to share views and ideas and sometimes to settle matters and issues arising. The Red Table Talk was premiered on June 13, 2018 and is being shown on the Facebook Watch. So it all started when Jada Pinkett Smith admitted that she was with someone else other than Will Smith for a while. You need to say clearly what happened. And I got into an entanglement with August. That's what. So they decided to talk about this on the Red Table Talk. This episode was one of the most watched episodes of the Red Table Talk because people were curious to know what happened. A lot of people sympathized with Will Smith because most of them believe he didn't deserve what Jada Pinkett Smith did to him. Well, Will Smith was on the Red Table Talk to settle things, talk about what was going on between the both of them, and to make peace. During the show, Will was trying to pretend as if he was okay and fine, but his face gave it all away, as if he had cried before the show. The look on his face has been in the memory of a lot of people as it became popular worldwide and even used as memes. The sad Will Smith, with his face looking as if he had cried before coming to the show, later came out to say that the reason why his face looked like he was about to cry was that he was dehydrated. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. A lot of people refused to believe the claim of Will Smith and seemed to think it was just an excuse to bring down the rumors going around. Well, it's very hard for anyone to know if what Will Smith said is true about the dehydration problem, but what's true is that the crisis made Will Smith sad. It's understandable, as he's a human and has been faithful to his wife all along. Number six, the incident. Getting deeper into the matter, let's discuss what happened between Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. In 2013, rumors were going around that Jada and Will Smith were in an open relationship and any one of them could be in a relationship with another person. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy. Without the person being affected or the marriage being affected because they could always pick up from where they stopped. And since it was an agreement, everything was okay. You've been on a hell of a journey with me. Yeah. You know, there's people's feelings involved. Right. But later, Jada Pinkett Smith said that these rumors were not true, and she and Will were never in an open relationship. She continued to say that the both of them were happy together, and they were building the family, and most importantly, because they had children together, they would never split up. On the contrary, most of their fans believed that it was just a matter of time before Will and Jada Pinkett Smith broke up because their marriage didn't seem that strong. Number 5. August Alsina Later on, there were some new developments as Jada admitted to being in an entanglement with a singer called August Alsina. Started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And... We actually became really, really good friends. August Alcino was known to be a family friend of the Smiths. Jada Pinkett Smith on the show said that it all started with asking for help for one thing or the other. Me wanting to help his health. Will Smith was seen in the talk show trying to keep things together and settle the issue they were faced with. During the interview, Jada Smith was trying to cover up her relationship with August 
by being careful with words and constantly claiming that all she had with him was just an entanglement and nothing else, and that she and Will were in some sort of crisis during that time. Will Smith at some time was tired of all these entanglement issues and had to make Jada Pinkett Smith come out clean and agreed that what she had with August Alsina was a relationship and not just an entanglement like she kept stating. Most people came out to say that what Jada Pinkett Smith did was wrong and this affected her a lot. The whole cheating and relationship accusations and how sad and hurt she made Will Smith made people blame her for making such a decision. Most people couldn't just imagine how weird and wrong it was that she was actually in a relationship with someone else and most especially a family friend. People also believe that Will Smith was more hurt because he never cheated on her throughout their relationship to date. Number 4. The Affected Son All these rumors and relationship issues Will and Jada Smith were having didn't affect Jaden Smith because, let's be frank, it's not easy having two celebrities as parents. Jaden Smith said that despite all his parents were going through and what his family was going through, he still loved them either way. But Jaden Smith himself was faced with most people believing that he was the favored child of his parents. But Will and Jada Smith refused this claim. Will Smith said during these times, he doesn't forbid his children from doing anything. He further expatiated that he taught them to know that they were responsible for their actions, and so he lets them face the consequences for their actions. He said that this style of parenting was to allow his children to do whatever they want to do and also make them know whatever they did or whatever decisions they made, they would face the consequences themselves. He believes that this will guide their actions and help them learn from their mistakes. He won't be putting his children in a cage, so they can be free to do whatever they want to do and whoever they want to be. Number 3. Alone It was not surprising when Jaden Smith decided at the age of 16 to move out of his parents' house and stay alone. Most people were against Will Smith's style of parenting and believe that this style of parenting will spoil a child and probably expose the child to irreparable damage. In Jada Smith's opinion, Jaden is going to be okay staying by himself because she said he is a very mature child that he was far mature than his age. I remember thinking to myself, as devastated as I was, I was like, he's right. Yeah. The time is now. He's 15. It's time for him to leave. We can see that it is quite true that he actually could stay by himself. And over the years, the relationship between Jada and Jaden Smith seemed to be okay, which means the decision was not a bad decision after all. Even with this, Jada Smith was pretty sad due to her son moving out of the house and staying on his own. But then, that's just normal. A mother will always want her child to be around at least at that age. Number 2. Favored Son In contrast to Will Smith saying that he allows his children to make their own decisions and also let them know the consequences of their decisions, he said that Jaden Smith was a favored child in a Red Table Talk of recent. This coming out from Will Smith's mouth sort of makes it more pronounced that Jaden Smith may be the favorite child of the family. But then we all know that Jaden Smith does not seem to like this idea because he believes that he is working to create a life and a story of his own. Number 1. The Shamed Wife Another interesting occurrence was when Jada Pinkett Smith said that she was a mom shamed along with her son Jaden. To be sincere, it wouldn't have been easy for Jaden to have coped through the couple of months his parents were actually in crisis because no child would be happy about his or her parents breaking up or having one crisis or the other. I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah, we decided that we were going to separate for a period. As it seems, Jaden seems to believe that his mother is the one pulling the strings causing this crisis because his father, which is Will Smith, has done nothing but to settle the situation. So it's normal that Jaden is a bit angry or maybe angrier with his mother. Just imagine a family where everything is okay and everybody is happy. Even though your siblings annoy you once in a while, you still love them because they have their moments, but then one of your parents makes a mistake that could bring an end to everything. It's normal for Jaden Smith to be angry with his mother for all that happened. That brings us to the end of this interesting video. 
Do you think it was insensitive of Jaden Smith to have confronted his mother, Jada Pinkett Smith? What's your opinion about the Smith family? Drop your answers in the comment section below. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel to get more interesting celebrity and entertainment videos. See you in the next video.